Hey Brett, it's Carson here. We're in the lob system and I'm going to talk you through the newly completed lob integration for your Podio program. And there's a lot of steps that go to this. Um, this video is very comprehensive. Uh, I need to show you, have you test a couple things. As long as it's all good, then we can do a more concise video training the team exactly what to do but I do need to run a couple things by you first and make sure everything's looking good to you um, and get that confirmed. So here we are, I'm on a test lead. So we have Todd test number two and just gonna talk you through the process of what's happening. So first off, there's one thing to always remember, there's a potential difference in property address that we're offering on and the mailing address that we're sending this to. So we have to, by necessity, use two different address fields. So these are down here at the bottom. Mailing address, one, line two, mailing city, state, and zip. And these parts are crucial for the lob piece. Um, if you would like, we could make these hidden if empty fields so that they're not always taking up screen space, but the team just has to know how to hit the hide unhide button to make those visible if we do that so let me know your thoughts there but these are required to do this type of mailing now um, part of this task that you had us do was to add an option with cover letter so now we have two we have generate pdf we have generate pdf with cover letter and they essentially generate the same information one has just more detail with the cover letter but they're all referencing or pulling things like this. You know, what's that purchase price? Uh, what's the, I think the APN pulls on there, the earnest money, all that stuff pulls onto them. So these have to be filled out before generating, no different than before. But we start by clicking whichever one of these buttons it is. So I'm gonna hit generate PDF with cover letter. Now, this whole process is now programmed to be guided with comments that happen over here on the right. So a second or two after clicking the button, we see a comment pop up confirming that the PDF is being generated and then just some instructions. If you plan to mail this, make sure that the mailing address details are accurate on this page and then follow the instructions that appear after selecting mail offer via lob. So we confirm these details and I've put my address in here just to see what can come through. Maybe let's change it up just to see that the new piece is working. Um, so we'll put like 8765 and we'll take off the unit. Okay, so we're going to say that this is the address that the owner lives at, mailing to offer about the house at the address here. Okay, so we've now generated the offer regarding this address. And one thing that's good is if we want to scroll down to the bottom and see what's been added on here, you'll notice sometimes there are a whole bunch of files. There are past ones that then have been modified and all of that. And so doing it from this page directly is risky because the system has to know, well, which of these files am I mailing? For that reason, the system is a little, you know, one or two extra steps, but it's absolutely necessary for you to see. So. Now that we've clicked to generate, it's confirmed that it's being generated, it's going to attach it here when it's ready, we hit this mail via lob. Once we click that, um, it's coming and it gives us this note. Please complete the final mailing step. You must go here to confirm details before lob can send the mail. And the reason that is is to ensure if there's a difference of that mailing address versus the property address, and to make sure that the file we're sending is the right one rather than just guessing from a list of long files, okay? So we'll follow the prompt, go here. This takes us to a new spot in your Podio that wasn't there before, it's called Mail Offers. If we just look in the overall thing, I've tucked it here at the end. So every time you try and mail something via lob, it starts by going there. You don't even realize that you're going there, you just know it pops up a new page, says, okay, this is the listed mailing address information. Make sure that's correct. Then make sure that that gets populated into the fields here below. I've got to take out one of these fields. I just remembered one of them was acting funny. So um, by the time you see this, one of these is gone. Anyway, 
we have the lob address details broken out and we have to confirm that and then we always recommend if we look at the comments the most recent file from seller lead has been attached please check and confirm that is the correct offer letter i always recommend that people actually take a look at this it costs money to, to send stuff via lob make sure you're sending the right things so here's what we have with the offer letter generated we're sending it to todd test at this address but it's about this address sometimes those are going to be different sometimes the same but it's just something important to be aware of always um, we improved a couple formatting pieces on here but i do want you to review and see if you see anything funny um, it says sincerely jennifer that's going to be because back on the lead file jennifer was listed as the lead owner okay so that name pipes into there Oh, one question for you. When we're creating these PDFs on the fax it to, it also puts whoever's listed on there as their number. I don't know if these are all fax numbers though. So please confirm if you have one set fax number to use or if it's supposed to dynamically pull from who we have there. Um, that's not something we just changed. That just happened to be something I noticed based on your previous setup so let's let's take a look at that if you have a fax number um, anyway it generates this it breaks out the information there are a couple pieces i just noticed about formatting like right here there's a lot of spaces i don't know why that is i'll have to look into that if you notice any formatting things please call it to our attention but then here's that agreement page information piped in the you know earnest money piped in the purchase price has all that stuff, dated it, and put Todd's thing. So this is what was created, okay? And I just wanted to show you that for verification. We always recommend that whoever comes here, they confirm the address, they click and they confirm the file, and then they just have one thing, mail the attached offer. It sits in pending until they click that. Once they click that, mail it, meaning they've confirmed all these, they get this confirmation. It's being sent by lob. And just a reminder that this passes through Zapier. It's good to occasionally check that Zapier and lob are communicating properly. Um, that's something that can break down. We need to always be aware of, you know, if, you know, someone changes the password to the lob account, Zapier won't be able to put stuff through to it. So we have to be aware of those things. That's why it says this here. And then ultimately, click here to return to the seller lead file. Boom, we do that and we're finished. We're back on the seller lead file. Over there, we've seen the same confirmation. It's been sent to lob. We're done with the mailing piece. We can continue on with our other work just like we would have, okay? So that's that's it. I drew, uh, sorry, it was drawn out as I explained it here in this video, but that's just so you understand the importance of every single step. Um, but it's really not difficult. We generate whichever type we want with or without the cover letter. Then once we let that generate, confirm these details, click mail, it's going to give us this. This says go there. So we go there. We confirm that information. I recommend looking at it. We click mail. As soon as we do that, we click here to return. Like four clicks and we just mailed it off. Okay. Pretty awesome. So that being said, I need to show you within lob now. So I'm going to go with lob. You're going to notice right now, I'm in what's called the test environment. I don't want you guys to be paying to mail every time we run one of these tests. And so it will not physically mail until I come and switch this over. And I'll do that once you've confirmed. Um, but here we go, here's the latest one. You'll remember I changed my address to 8765. So if I click on there, obviously Lob got the information, awesome. And it gives us right here a chance to view what lob actually, what they do and mm -hmm, click view. So lob adds it with a, uh, this uh, mail label page. That's because they use certain envelopes with pieces, the clear envelopes that the mailing shows up, the address label shows up in there. So they have to put that on their own page on it because they don't know if this is going to be 
positioned exactly right to show up on the mailer. Okay. Um, then we get this. It's the same PDF that we confirmed a minute ago. So I just wanted to show you that's all of what's in here. That's what was sent to Lob, and it looks great. Lob prints that out, folds it up, sticks it in an envelope, and sends it. Okay. Now, what do I need you to do? I need you to run through a couple different scenarios on it. Whether you do it all on Todd Test or uh, whatever, try some of them with two sellers and make sure that the formatting all looks good. Try some of them with a cover letter, some without. Try going through that process and making sure you understand the going to the mail area to confirm, click send, and coming back. Just play with that for a minute. Make sure that you like what you're seeing. And then once you're ready, you can tell me and I will tell Lob that we're ready to go to the live environment. I have to do that in Lob as well as Zapier. I have to turn it over. Um, but that's where we are. Just wanted to update you here. Please review this and let me know what questions you have. I'm excited for this to finally be ready and working for you guys. Thanks.